Fat Man is Kitchen, everybody. So today I'm gonna make a traditional dish called birria. Birria, 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 or something like that. So to begin with, actually, before I even get started, this is a recipe that was my cousin's wife's mom's recipe, Anna. That's her name. So this is Anna style birria, okay? So she handed down the recipe to her daughter and I stole it. So I'm gonna make it today. So you wanna start with five pounds of chug beef. You're gonna need some salt, garlic, black pepper, beef bouillon, canela, cinnamon whole, oregano, bay leaves, cumin or cumin, whatever, and clavo, okay, which is just ground cloves. You're also going to need 14 pods of chile guajillo, 14-ish, distilled vinegar, and today I am going to use measuring cups because it's not mine, so I'm going to make it exactly how they make it, and I've tasted it before, it is bomba, bomb. So, I'll get started right now, but first we're going to blend everything together. You want to take your chile guajillos, de-seed them, and de-vein them. Like a vampire. Just take the veins out. You know, it takes away all the bitterness. And what you want to do. You still recording? Once your chile guajillos are in there, all 14 pods, take your measuring. This is a quarter teaspoon. So it takes half a teaspoon of black pepper. Put that in there. And then you're gonna take some oregano. One tablespoon of oregano. Don't drop your oregano. Then you're gonna take your ground clove. I don't even know what this is. One eighth of a teaspoon, so half of this. I don't, I don't, fortunately I don't have a one eighth gonna come out. Oh, that thing smells strong though. Ooh. Okay. Then take your cumin. You wanna do one teaspoon of this. One teaspoon. And you want to take half a head of garlic cloves. All right, and then, how the hell you open this? Don't get a child-proof one. Then you want to do a quarter cup of distilled vinegar, white distilled vinegar. Okay. Grind it up. Don't do what I just did. Add, add some water to it, people. Add about two cups. Okay, so you want your chunks. You can cut them smaller than this. I like them like that. So that's how we're gonna leave them. And then you got your fresh 
uh, birria chili seasoning smoothie. So just take a don't take a sip. Don't take a sip. Pour it in. Okay. Then what you want to do is cover with water. So at the meat, just to the top of the meat. See, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you just want to just kind of have little meat icebergs, meat icebergs. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna add is your cinnamon. So take one stick and just break it in three, I think. Okay. Oh, that smells good. Then you want to take your bay leaves. Just add like five pieces. One, two, three, three and a half. So the beef bouillon, I'm gonna start with a teaspoon. Cause remember this stuff is salty. Man, this reminds me of, uh, you know, that exquisite cup noodle beef flavor soup. So just throw that in there. And then you do wanna do a tablespoon of salt. And remember, once it's almost cooked, you can taste it, see if it needs salt. If you wanna add more beef bouillon, it's up to you, but don't make it too salty cause then it's gonna be hard to eat. But here I am gonna start with a tablespoon of salt. Okay. Give it a little shake. You're gonna put it on your stove and you're gonna let it boil first. Okay, so put it at the highest setting you got. Once it boils, you wanna bring it down to medium, medium high heat and let it sit there for about two hours, two hours and 20 minutes. And then you can stick it with a fork and if it starts to fall apart, it's ready. Hey. All right, so it started boiling already. Check that out. Okay, it's on high heat. It took about 13 minutes to get there. So then what you wanna do is turn it down to about medium, medium high. So I'll put it right there. And then we'll let it sit for two hours. And I have an Alexa at home, so I told her to just set a timer for two hours. But you can use your kids, you can use whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's been an hour and a half. So I'm gonna check it to see where it's at, how it's doing. Okay, still need some cook time. See how it's still stiff. All right, just let it keep sitting there. All right, guys, it's been two hours. So let's see where it's at. So you see the piece? Let's see how it's falling apart? That's exactly what you want. But me, I like it to shred a little more. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh! All right, so I'm gonna leave it in here for like another 15, 20 minutes, just because I like it really, really, really soft, but look how it's shredding to pieces. Okay, I'm gonna taste it and then I'm gonna give my wife a taste, see what she thinks. God, bro. All right, so I'm actually gonna turn it off. Cause I don't want the broth to go away. So what I'm gonna do is, it's still hot, right? So I'm just gonna let it sit for another 15, 20 minutes in its own heat, and then we'll be ready to eat. You know what I mean? Okay, so with this, aside this, they make arroz con mal. So my mom's standing over there, so they said, you know, her hair's all dead and everything. She has, you know, new canas, but she doesn't wanna come out on camera. So she's gonna teach me how to make it. So you need four little tomatoes like this, some onion, I'll tell you how much right now, she's gonna walk me through it, so you guys will hear it live. 
You need some garlic, some rice, obviously, oil to fry it. You don't need that. And some salt. And then a cup to measure. Okay, ma, ¿cómo se hace esto? La cosita es this little thing back here. <laughs> and then <laughs> cut it in half. <laughs> so do that to all of them. <laughs> this is about the only thing this lady knows how to cook. Mama? <laughs> Ready. Yes. Yeah. That's how much onion. Tanteo is not a measurement. So just put a piece in. So for the two tomatoes here, I, I'm going to calculate today. Like that? You don't even know. Un poquito más? That means a little more. Uh -huh. Un poquito más. Uh -huh, yeah, that's, that's not too much? No. Okay. Mm. It's gonna blend anyway, so you don't have to mm -hmm. cut it too much. Did you get the skin off? Yeah, I got the skin off. <laughs> Did I get the skin off? <laughs> I got the skin off. <laughs> ¿Cuánto ajo? So she said put two, two cloves. Dientes means teeth. Don't put your dentures in there. Use garlic. Mm -hmm. So she said two of these suckers. She said peel them for you guys that don't understand. Mm -hmm. Oops. Jack. She says I could put another small one so it could come out real good. So I don't know why she didn't tell me to do three in the first place. A small teeth. So if you got kids, bang them. Take a little teeth out. Kitty, don't touch your kid. How much salt? Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be probably the equivalent of like a tablespoon. And then, and then she says you can taste it and see how it comes out. So let's try one? How much? So if you're making two cups of rice, it's going to be two cups of water mm -hmm. in her. And she said blended, but it has to be really blended. Like the blender's not gonna do it, right? Come mm on. -hmm. Cover it up. Blend it, I'll show you what it looks like. Ma! Ah, echalo. Lo echo? Y lo loro. Y lo vasí, lo vas meneando. Todo esto, ¿no? Okay, that was two pre measured cups. You like that, huh? Pre measure? I'm, I'm fancy. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure you coat it in the oil. She said to when it's nice and brown, then that's when it's nice and fried already. Ma, ¿cuánto dura esto? So I asked her, how long does it take? She don't know. She says when it's nice and brown. So medium high heat, so you don't burn it. That's what she's saying. But you still need it to fry, so don't do it too low either. And she says that if you want it to fry quick, you can crank up the heat, but you got to be on it. So that it doesn't burn up. No, she ain't talking to me. All right.
that's what you kind of want it to look like nice and fried okay look at that it just turns into a brown like a golden brown color it looks like brown rice almost and then what you want to do is pour it in Okay, then you want to drop your heat down to medium low so it cooks nice and slow. Cover it up. Let it sit there for about 20 minutes and come check it and add water as needed. Ya se acabó, ma? Yeah. Fueron que como unos 20 minutos. Uno tiene que destaparlo y que ver cuando ya está bien, ya está cocidito. Nomás que él estás escarbando a ver si encuentras el premio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. And that is how you make homemade Mexican uh, red rice. ¿No I mean? Courtesy of Elvira Ramos. She's right there. My mama. Mm -hmm. Then take some rice. Don't be scared, okay? Pour some rice on there. This is a messy plate. This ain't none of that food network look cute stuff. This is the flavor of blow your mind to a million pieces type of stuff. Put a little bit of broth on your rice. And voila. Dingus. Está bueno esta madre. Antes que empecemos a tragar, thank you, Mrs. Ana, for your recipe. This is delicious. Le salió. Ah, mmm. Y también limoncito, que no se los olvide. Porque, ah, mmm. <laughs> Get yourself some tortillas, cilantro, onion, and some lemon. Okay? After you plate it. Chop it up, dice it up. You've seen me do it enough times that I don't have to show you how to do it. Or just eat it like that. It's up to you. But subscribe and like or stop watching my channel.